Over the past two months, a surge in violent crimes has shaken the entire nation, creating fear among homeowners, business owners, and other members of society. It has prompted a response from many public officials who are calling for a holistic approach to address the issue. Police Commissioner Atlee Rodney says there is still a lot of work that has to be done. We have seen improvement, and the reason for that, a number of persons that were involved in those criminal activities has been arrested. We have uh, brought quite a few of them before the courts in recent time, and there are some other persons that are likely to be charged in very short notice. So, Commissioner Rodney says the police has made major inroads and will continue to partner with the relevant agencies to get the job done. The government has made significant investments to strengthen the resources of both the police and defense forces to tackle the issue head on. The increased patrols will be there. The increase in the intelligence officers that are out there getting the information that they return that information to the operation departments that will continue. So there are some visibility you will see and there is some that you will not see. The Antigua and Barbuda Defense Force is also a crucial partner in this effort. Chief of Defense Staff Brigadier Telbert Benjamin says both agencies have strong collaboration, are been collaborating for years, and the military will continue to be a supporting partner. What we do is partner to ensure that the police can efficient as possible, ensure that uh, we remove those who need to be removed from the streets. It has been happening from 1st of January and will continue until the 1st of January. So um, there is no question about what we have on the street. We are there and we are there 24-7. Law enforcement officers are also highlighting a growing trend in which most of the reported crimes involve repeat offenders, often released on bail. Most perpetrators are also between the ages of 15 to 25 years of age. In 2023, 850 people were arrested and charged, and the majority being repeat offenders. Acting head of the Criminal Investigations Department, Superintendent Lisbon Michael, shared some frightening statistics Sunday night. That amount in terms of repeat offenders, 474. Of 850, 474 repeat are repeat offenders. offenders. The government is considering changes to the law to make it harder for people accused of certain violent crimes to secure bail. It is part of a slew of measures that are to be addressed in the House of Representatives on Thursday of this week. Theresa Goodwin, ABS News.